Whew. Amazon made a fitness band called the Amazon Halo. Let's see if it's any good. All right, everybody, welcome back to Gadget Conquest. And we are back at my desk after two videos of being at my workstation. It's nice to be back at my little review desk. Um, so this video is about the little puck attached to this band called the Amazon Halo. It is Amazon's attempt at a fitness tracker and it has some pretty cool features and also some kind of weird features as well. I have my phone up so I will actually, uh, I'm recording the screen on this so instead of zooming into it, I'll just give you a little overlay or something. Um, when it seems time to share with you the information. So uh, the unboxing experience on the band itself, this is actually the, uh, this is the sport accessory band. This is the white band that I'm currently using. The one that I bought came with this um, fabric band, which is actually pretty cool. Um, the material was sort of a little stretchy, um, nice and comfortable though. The Velcro material on it, so it does use Velcro to attach itself, uh, or close itself rather, and the Velcro material on it works really, really well. The only problem that I really had with it is, as you can see, it's in a circle, it's not open. I don't know if it's intentional, but it's not, you can't get this thing open all the way. So. This is as far as it goes. When it comes to taking it off and putting it on again, it's kind of a hassle because you have to get it around your hand. And when it's just a band like this, it's a little bit easier, but once it has the puck on it, the actual Halo access, uh, device itself, it is sort of becomes kind of a nightmare. And this is the medium size. Now, if I wanted one that could easily slip onto my hand, I would have gone up to the large size. But the problem is that the medium size actually fits my wrist way better since I have, um, not particularly large hands, but my hands are much larger than my wrists are. So just an unfortunate circumstance. It would have been nice if this was a more um, standard design or if it had like a weird clip on the edge where you could sort of get it to a position and then slide it out. That would be super cool. But unfortunately, Amazon didn't come up with that kind of idea and you're stuck with this. Um, the band that I'm currently using is the white fitness band. It's white and I think it's black on the inside. Yes, it's white and black. Uh, they come in, what's strange with the bands, the extra bands, is the extra bands and the bands that come with the Halo itself are in different sizes. So this one had large, medium, and small, but this one has small, medium, and medium, large for the sizes. And I ended up getting medium, large because I got medium for the uh, original one and the medium was kind of small. So I got medium large and this thing is pretty freaking big. Uh, big. It gives like five inches of extra real estate on this, uh, what is this? The, the rest of the like the, the extra part of the band here. Enough to the point where I can see it from the top now because of how big it is. It still fits and it's actually more comfortable than the fabric one. It's just if you are a smaller person, the small medium size would be more for you, not the medium large. Other than that, we can get into the actual band, uh, the puck itself rather. It attaches to the band with this really interesting little design here where it just pops into place. And this little device here that you see, let's put it like that. That little device there is the actual halo itself. It's really small. Uh, and it has on the top and on the bottom here, so right there and there, it has little holes that fit into, that uh, these bumps here fit into so that it can, here, let me try to do it like that so you can see a little bit better. These bumps right here fit into and it just pops into place like that. So just pop that there and pop that there and it's done. And that's how you would attach it to your band. Same thing with the other band, with the fabric band. You just take it and you put it in one spot and then you put it in the other spot. And when you put it on, 
You just need to make sure that the there's one button on it. It's right here, it's on this side. You need to make sure that that button is facing you when your arms are out like this. So in my case, it would be like this, and then I would just put it on like that. And then once it's on, I can take the this piece. See, this part is kind of annoying. This is this is what I was talking about with the van. It's it's just little things like this. It would have been nice if there was like a clip where I could more easily put it on, but um, there's that. And then once you have it like that, you just Velcro it down. It has a really nice look to it. I like this black uh, black and gray sort of fabric mesh look. Um, and it's not uncomfortable. You're supposed to wear it a little bit tight. You're actually supposed to wear it with two inches of space away, or two fingers width away from your wrist as well. So it's actually supposed to go a little bit higher like this, which because this is a fitness tracker that doesn't have a display at all. There's no watch or anything like that. So if you're normally wearing a watch and you wear a watch on the same hand that you put your fitness tracker on, then basically you would just put the watch on one hand and you put the fitness tracker on the other hand, something like that, or, or, or above it, or do two hands or something like that. It really doesn't matter. You figure it out yourself. Um, the band, this band itself, I believe was $18 and it arrived pretty quickly. It was like a few days shipping. Um, it wasn't that bad. The unboxing experience for it was pretty simple as well. Now the unboxing experience for the Halo itself was pretty standard for Amazon. They had a lot of this frustration free packaging going on. So right here there was the, uh, that like rip tab for the plastic wrap. And then uh, it had it here as well on the bottom. And then you opened it up and it had just the Halo there. And you also had your little quick start guide, which you know how much I love quick start guides. So thank you for including a quick start guide, Amazon. Now, before I get into the device itself and the software, because what really stands out about the Halo is the software experience. This is Amazon we're talking about. So obviously they're gonna have a software experience. Um, before we get into that though, there's one more thing about the hardware that I need to bring up. And it's the same thing that I complained about with the Wise Fitness Band and it's this. So this is the charger. What the f Amazon. I, I hate this. I hate this so much. I cannot describe to you how much I hate this charger. If this thing breaks, if this piece of crap breaks, then you have to buy a new one exactly like it from Amazon. It doesn't come with the, um, the wall wart like iPhones, but I mean, realistically you can, the thing doesn't use that much power. You can charge it with any wall wart whatsoever. Hell, you could connect it to a USB port on a computer and it'll charge just fine from that. But still, <sighs> this thing retails for $100. It is not the same as the Wise Band, which only retailed for $30. This is three times the price, and this is the charger for it. $100 for this. This. That's... I'm, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose it. I'm going to lose it and it's not gonna be fun. So I'm going to just wrap this up. This is the only good thing about this charger is that you can just do that and there you go. It's all wrapped up. I hate that thing. Anyway, moving on to the good parts about the Halo. First of all, battery life. This is the only fitness tracker that I've used so far that I can actually wear to bed. The reason for that being is that I don't have to worry about charging it. The uh, battery with tone off, so we'll get into what tone is, but the battery with tone off lasted for me eight days. Eight days from Monday to, I believe, Tuesday, yeah, Monday to Tuesday. So eight full days, I got it Monday morning, I charged it Monday morning, and I did not have to charge it again until Tuesday evening. So eight full days, no problem whatsoever. So I wore it all the time, except for when I took a shower. Other than that, it was always on, and it was 
great having finally a fitness band that I can actually use the sleep tracking functionality of. There's so many fitness bands and watches that can track your sleep, but the watch will be dead by the time you wake up. The fitness band will be dead by the time you wake up. It's completely useless. This actually lasts long enough that I don't have to worry about that. Now, with the tone on, it lasts at most two days. You can wear it for a full day, but it's like you'll be, and, and sleep with it and wake up knowing that it'll have battery, but after you wake up, you'll have to charge it. Um, so that's kind of annoying, but overall this thing, just having it on and being able to have it on for that solid eight days is pretty freaking cool. Amazon um, advertises up to a 10 day battery life uh, with the tone off. And while I didn't particularly get 10 days, I can see how someone would actually get 10 days with it um, under certain circumstances. So that's really cool. That definitely gets a thumbs up for me. If you actually are looking for one that's a sleep, that's a sleep tracker that works and is actually has battery life that will last long enough for that kind of stuff, this is definitely one to look at. Um, now, I've mentioned the tone thing quite a bit, so we'll get into the software features of the band. Um, I have my phone in front of me. I am recording the display, so I'll put it up here. We'll, we'll put it here. How about that? We'll put it there. So um, the cool thing about the device is it does have a really cool service from Amazon. Now, it isn't free. The service from Amazon is a trial period of six months, so you get six months for free, but then after that it becomes $4 a month. Now, the $4 a month extra price is extra. It's not, it's only giving you extra features, it's not locking you out of features that you can't already use the fitness band for. So if you bought the fitness band and all you wanted was the activity tracking, so basic activity tracking, heart rate monitoring and step counting and stuff like that, it can still do that. It doesn't need the $4 service in order to do that. However, if you wanted the extra features like the 3D body composition, the tone stuff, that stuff does use Amazon services because it uses the cloud for AI uh, related computations, for analysis of your body and tone and stuff like that. And also for the recommendations that they give you for workouts and stuff like that, that stuff is all part of the service and that's part of the $4. In my personal opinion, it is worth the price. Um, is it worth for you? I don't know, but, but as far as value goes, the value that you get out of it, as long as you, if you use all of the services, you're definitely getting that $4. You're getting more than that $4 value if you actually use all the services. If you use one of the services, I, it would be harder to justify. Maybe if it was like $2, um, but if you use two of the services, of the, of the four or five services that come with this, uh, this $4 price tag, honestly, if you use more than one of them, the $4 isn't that bad. You pay more for Netflix, you pay more for Hulu, you pay more for HBO Max, you pay more for Disney, blah, 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 blah. There's so many things. Um, so it's not that bad and it's something, it's for your health, you know? Um, so one of the things that they go into is the activity. So you have your week and activity and I'll show you mine. You can see that I live a very sedentary lifestyle. Um, and you can see you have your goals for points. The way that they track activity is they track it by time. And then the amount of time that you do that activity gives you a certain amount of points. So you can see here that I have this 29 minutes of moderate uh, exercise. And each of those minutes gave me one point, so I have 29 points. You can see I have six hours and 39 minutes of light uh, exercise, which gave me 17 points. And you can see I have 29 hours, <laughs> over 29 hours of a sedentary time, which uh, took away 29 points and completely got rid of all of the points that I got for my moderate exercise. Um, <laughs> but you can see that it does track those points and the idea is to reach this weekly goal of 150 points. At least for uh, my, you can actually uh, go through here and it will give you more information about how these work. And this is the reason why it tells you uh, 150 points is the amount. It has to do with 
uh, the average that they say a human should have in order to live a healthy heart life, and then you can go into more higher points for other things, and it will even give you ideas of what to do for these tasks and yada, yada, yada. It's pretty cool. You can go into uh, whether you want to see a weekly time, a daily time, or a monthly time. So if I go to my daily, you can see that today I have been uh, sedentary for most of the day and have spent about an hour, or, or sorry, 29, 27 minutes doing light exercise, which makes sense. I did go get the mail and I decided to go for a very short walk during that time, which shows on here and why I have a thousand steps, even though I haven't left the house today, except for to get mail. Uh, but that's the activity section. It's really cool. It also, when you go down, you can get more points and actually it will, so this fl flows into the service section where it gives you recommendation on exercises that you can do. Oops, sorry. It gives you recommendations on exercises that you can do in order to gain more points. Um, and it'll even do uh, activity tracking. So all of the stuff that you would expect from an activity tracker, it has. It just also has these labs and exercises and totals and all of these extra details that you would get into. Um, I've tried uh, the, not this one, there's the, here it is, the two minute workout to start your day uh, with videos and it's auto tracked. It's pretty cool. Uh, I definitely, if you're the kind of person that you don't know what to do to sort of, get to where you're going, you're, you want to get healthier, but you don't know how to do that. You don't know, because everybody says, yeah, diet and exercise. And it's like, okay, cool, but like, where do I go? What kind of diet do I need? What kind of exercise should I do? How do I ramp myself up into it instead of jumping head first and then probably burning myself out or even injuring myself? Those are questions that people have. And I think that this does a really good idea of answering those questions, especially when you go into things like foundations and um, the different, categories that exist here in the app. So it's pretty cool as an activity tracker, the heart rate and the movement stuff is all super, super cool. And then if we go back, the next thing that we can talk about is the sleep tracking. So you can actually see that I slept for six hours and 30 minutes. It took me only two minutes to fall asleep and then I was awake for 20 minutes during that time, which is pretty cool. Um, the sleep tracking, I have been using it for the entire time. So you can see my weekly here. Um, and yeah, you can, it's honestly, it's just super cool. I actually use a sleep tracking app on my phone called Sleepy Time um, that also does sleep tracking and movement tracking and whatnot, but it uses, it only uses the microphone on your phone in order to do that. And that's not entirely accurate. Whereas this can track your heart rate and make a sort of informed decision on when you're falling asleep, when you've fallen asleep, depending on your heart rate and the moment that you become sedentary and all of these, uh, factors that come into play. And since it's on your wrist, it's gonna be way more accurate than a phone lying on your uh, bedside table. So it's pretty cool. There's also labs related as well. And that's of course also part of the service. And you have different labs for raising your sleep quality, falling asleep faster. And I think there was one more category there. Um, right, staying asleep and sleep length, that's what it was. So. You have all of these labs for different things and it's basically just exercises or, eh, we'll just say exercises, exercise things that you can do in order to live a more mindful life or um, have more healthy sleep really. And overall, that's the overarching uh, goal here with the app is to have you be more healthy just overall by uh, both mind and body, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can go down here and then now we can actually get into tone. So tone is super cool. Uh, I have only been using the tone for a couple days now uh, because I wanted to test the battery life without the tone on first. And so that took eight days to do. And then after that, I did another two days with the tone and it killed my battery pretty quickly. But the tone is super cool because what it does is it does what Amazon does best. It listens to you all day. That's what Amazon is good at, right? Um, but in reality, yeah, it listens to you. And it first, 
the first thing that you have to do is you have to train it with your voice and you train it to recognize you and how you speak normally. And then after that, it just listens to you throughout the day and sort of records what your tone was like throughout the day when you were speaking to people. And it, it's, it uses a lot of AI analysis and this entire section is part of the uh, $4 a month service. And it's, in my opinion, really cool. So you can see that I have, uh, today, I have had a good amount of time uh, with a negative tone. But overall, it's been pretty neutral, which is great. Um, apparently, I was most positive about 40 minutes ago, which is awesome. Uh, but it gives you an analysis and it gives you notable moments as well. So times that you were skeptical, um, it uses phrases and words in order to decide uh, when you're being in that tone. And it's a lot of AI analysis, so it makes sense that it would be part of their service. It's pretty cool. If you find that um, you wear this and your tone is very often in the negative and not in the positive, that's actually a very, very cool way to sort of get an idea of not only how other people see you, but how you can increase or, or make better that appearance that you have, if, if you care about it at all, you know, um, you might not care whatsoever. And if you don't, that's fine. But if you do, this is one way to handle that. Like, I don't want people to think of me as being negative all the time or being depressed all the time. So I think that it's pretty cool. I just wish that the tone didn't nuke the battery as badly as it does. Maybe there's like an efficiency that could be made or maybe a bigger battery. Um, of course, the device would have to be bigger in order to do that. But as it stands, the tone killed my battery in two days. I was able to go to s wake up, charge it, go to s spend the whole day with tone on, go to sleep, wake up the next day, and then about halfway through the day, realized that I was almost dead and then charge it again. Luckily, from zero to 100% only took about 90 minutes tops to charge, uh, which isn't bad. It's a very short amount of time to be without your fitness band. It's not like your phone. So it's not that big a deal. And the really only thing that makes it a big deal is the fact that this charger blows. But I'm already past that. So. The last thing that we can get into is the body scan. And I'm very reluctant <laughs> to show this to you because this is an actual 3D scan of my body and I'm very ashamed of how uh, out of shape I am. But we're gonna get into it. So this is uh, the body scan here. <laughs> um, and it's actually very, very accurate, unfortunately. <laughs> um, so it gives, we're gonna just scroll past it. <laughs> Uh, it gives you a body fat percentage based on your height, your weight, and then the 3D scan that you give it. And I have the smart scale that I bought that uses the um, uh, electric method, I can't even remember what it's called anymore, to check your body, uh, body fat percentage. And I can tell you for a fact that this number is incredibly accurate, which is really cool because it's based on just you know, a couple numbers and a, a, like three pictures. So it's really, really cool how accurate that was. Um, and it does give you reminders for scanning. So you would like to scan more often so that you have a more live view of how your body changes. Something that it can really do, which I will show you, um, uh, is you can, sorry, where was it? You can, there is a way to actually have it, um, man, if only I could figure out where it is. There is a way, here it is. So you can have it estimate how your body will change depending on your body fat percentage, which is really, really cool. Um, so if I crank this up to 50%, you can see that I would become quite the chonker. Now I have in the past had a body that was at a very low, close to zero body fat percentage. So I can actually stand by the accuracy of it when I tell you that this at 5% is actually very, very close to what my body really looked like when I was at a 5% body fat percentage. So 
it's actually really, really cool the way that they do this because it's all based on AI, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. It's, it's cool. And it also gives you something to look forward to in a way. It's, there's a lot of mental tricks going on here with your mind um, in order to sort of trick you into wanting to get more in shape and um, also helping you, to, helping you learn how to get into shape. So you have your related lab section here. You have your healthy eating, foundation, strength, cardio, blah, 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 blah. Bunch of stuff, bunch of workouts, bunch of labs, bunch of things to do and actual recommended exercises, which is not something that you get when you just get a gym membership, for example. So it's really, really cool. Um, they even give you, when you go into these, they will often give you, here we go, they'll give you ideas of the equipments that you would need. So for this particular exercise, which is a 30 day lengthen and tone exercise, um, it needs hand weights, ball, and bands. It is a beginner difficulty, and this is the amount of time it will take, 40 to 50 minutes, five times a week for four weeks. That's a pretty intense activity if you ask me. Um, so it's honestly pretty cool, and I think that just the lab's service itself is worth the $4 price tag if you actually use it. But once again, that really depends on the person, and it is all up to you to determine the value of all of the different things that you have. So that's all of the data there. Then you also have your lab section, and this is just a combination of all of the different lab sections that we have seen in the four sections. Um, so you have your labs related to different things, and you also have different categories. Um, there's a lot of labs by a lot of different people. They're not all by Amazon, so you can see that some of these are by Relax Melodies, some of them by Sweat, Orange Theory, Headspace, um, P-Volve, and Exhale. So we've got a lot of different people making labs, and it's pretty cool. Then you have the Yours section, uh, which are actually, if I remember correctly, these are labs that you are working on. As you can see, I haven't done uh, any labs, well, no, I did do the, that's weird. I did that one lab, I guess it didn't track it. That might be a bug. We might have to, I mean, that might be a bug. So, but this is where you would keep track of your labs and see your progress on all of your different labs and actually get a completion rate of all the different labs that you completed and the sections that they are involved with. Then you have your live section, which gives you your heart rate. So you can see that I am at 83 beats per minute, which is relatively high because I am out of shape. And then you actually have a live tone analysis, which you can turn on and it will live track your tone and show it to you in real time. So it's saying that I am confident, knowledgeable and passionate, which makes sense because I am talking to you guys about something that I am knowledgeable about and I am just a confident person and I'm passionate about this uh, channel. So that makes complete and total sense. Apparently I'm high energy too. But anyway, let's uh, end that and we can, yeah, we'll keep it, whatever. Then you have your settings. This will give you information about when it last syncs. So the watch is interesting, or the band rather, is interesting in that it's not a constant live feed all the time to your phone. In fact, it only syncs with your phone once every hour. And that is interesting in itself. Well, the band, when you have mic activated, when you have the microphone activated and you're doing tone, it is a live feed to your phone but when you uh, don't have the tone activated, it only syncs to your, well, actually the other data as well, but I'm getting way off topic. Anyway, it syncs to your phone once an hour, and actually what you can happen is, I went for a walk all the way over to the mailboxes, which is actually pretty far away from me, and I did not take my phone with me. The band got disconnected from my phone, and I was fully expecting to just lose the tracking altogether. But what actually happened, which was pretty cool, was when I got back and the band reconnected to my phone, it was keeping track of everything that happened when my phone was disconnected, and when it resynced to my phone, all of the data that it was keeping track of was now on my phone, which is super, super cool. That is something that you would definitely wanna see, especially when your phone dies, because this will outlive your phone. Now, I don't know how it will last during situations where the 
uh, phone is dead for an extended period of time. I don't know how long the memory on this thing lasts. I don't even know how much memory it has in the first place. So I can't say that you'll definitely be able to use this without having your phone around for a while. But at the same time, I can say that if you do go without your phone for a little while, you can be sure that your stuff will still be tracked when it comes back, which is something that would be very important to someone who is tracking, because obviously when you're working out or going on exercises, you're not always gonna wanna take your phone with you. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. Now I am going to end this recording. Stop. Cool, recording saved. And let me get back into the center of my desk here so that we can come to a conclusion. So the Amazon Halo. My conclusion, and my conclusion will vary from other people's conclusions, blah, 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 blah. We all know this. My conclusion is that it is super cool. Now at $100, is it cool enough? Honestly, Yes, but not for everyone. If you don't have $100 to spend on a fitness band, but you really do want a fitness band, I would still recommend the... Ugh. Nope, that's the wrong one. Where is it? Definitely not that. Ugh. Got it. I found it. The wise band, and it is, it is actually still in this box. I don't, I don't use this, this thing. Um, I would still recommend the wise band. At $30, you get all of the fitness tracking that you would care about, um, and you don't have to break the bank, and you also get uh, Alexa control, which is pretty cool. Um, now, if you have the money to spare, and you want something that can give you personalized recommendations, you think the tone stuff is really cool, and the body tracking stuff is really cool, or you just want something that will actually be able to track your sleep without dying all the time, then, Honestly, I think that this is really the way to go. It's a really cool device. It's going to have support because it's by Amazon and they made packaging for it. So it's going to have support. You're not gonna to have to worry about that. The software experience is incredibly polished. It works really well and it looks good, which doesn't seem that important when you're talking about functionality, but Honestly, the appearances are really, really important. Being able to navigate through the UI, being able to understand what is happening easily is all very, very important. I think Amazon did a really good job at it in this case. Normally, Amazon isn't that great at UI in my honest opinion, but this is one of those instances in which they did a very, very good job. And honestly, while it doesn't get two thumbs up from me, I'm gonna give it a thumb and a half. It's pretty freaking good. It's not the best in the world. It's not gonna blow your mind, but honestly, it is great value for all of the services and features that you're getting. And just the fact that it's a sleep tracker for me is really cool. And I am actually going to keep using this thing. I'm, I'm unlike the wise band that I immediately put back into uh, the box because this is for people with no, uh, I don't know. This is for people that, that really, really want a fitness tracker, but really, really don't want to spend money on one. So, which those people exist, and that's, there's nothing wrong with being that kind of person, it's just I'm not that kind of person. So, I'm gonna keep using this. I'm gonna keep wearing it. Honestly, I kind of miss wearing my smartwatch though, because I do normally have a smartwatch, so I'll probably end up moving the band to my right hand and then keeping my smartwatch on my left hand and doing it that way, just have two things on my wrists like an animal, or maybe have both of them on one hand. We'll see how it goes, but that's really what it comes down to. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like if you liked it. Don't forget to dislike if you dislike it. Please subscribe. Hit that bell icon if you wanna get notifications about my videos, which would be helpful to me because then I'll get views faster. And tell your friends about my channel. And go watch all my other videos. For real. Anyway, <laughs> thank you all for watching. Have a good day, have a good week, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>